What's up everyone, this is Tech Break. Have you ever stopped and thought to yourself, what's inside a hoverboard, a mono rover, or a mini Segway? Well, in this video we're going to take a look at the hoverboard and we're going to take it apart and see what's inside of it. So, let's get started. Right here I have the 10 inch model of the mini Segway slash hoverboard and now this is the exact same thing as the regular model that you see, has all the same components inside. If you're a little bit curious to see what's the difference between the 10 inch model with this model right here compared to the normal size one, I have a video on that as well. So the hoverboard has a whole bunch of different screws, so you're going to have to use a Phillips head to get them all out. It's really simple to take all the screws out, and it only took about a minute or two for each side. So unfortunately, sometimes the hoverboards do come with strip screws. On my other hoverboard I have, it has two strip screws, so that doesn't allow me to take off the back, because two of them won't even unscrew. So that is food for thought and something to be aware of. After a few moments later, when we finally get to all the screws, we can finally take off the lid. And you do have to be careful because there are some cables connected to the outer shell, and that's the power on the device. So I've always been really curious what makes up a hoverboard and see all the components inside. To me, this is really interesting. So we're going to go ahead and keep continuing with this, and we're going to take apart the left side now. So we have all the same screws that are located on the right hand side as well as the left hand side. So it's just going to take a couple more minutes to remove all these screws. And once we finally can, you have to be gentle again with this lid because there are more cables connected to the outer shell. And then the left hand side, this is where the main battery is located. You hear pretty often that people say all the hoverboards are the same regardless of the model and make because they all come from the same manufacturer and have the same battery. But you can tell right here this is false, this is not a Samsung battery. If you look in really fine detail, it looks like they hurried up and made the hoverboard and just pieced it together as fast as they could. There's hot glue all over the place. The cables look like they're just chaos everywhere and look like they can just unplug very easily. And even the screws are in different sizes and different shapes. On the right side of the hoverboard, this is where all the brains are at and this is going to tell it how to balance it and when to go and when to stop. Personally, I thought it was really cool to take apart the hoverboard and see all the different components and what makes it up and causes it to work. If you guys have a video suggestion on how I should destroy this hoverboard, please leave a comment down below. The top choice of right now is I'm going to see if I can try to get it to start on fire while just driving it around. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Tech Break, signing off. Peace.